Hey all, Chris Bassett here, and I'm going to show you how I stream to YouTube with OBS on my computer. Let's get into it. On your YouTube dashboard, you'll want to come over to this Go Live button. Um, if this is the first time you've done this, it'll take 24 hours before it'll let you. If you're uh, streaming from a computer, you don't need any followers, but if you're streaming from your mobile device, you'll need at least a thousand. Go ahead and go live, and it'll bring you to this uh, section. You just want to schedule a stream. If you have a stream scheduled, when you pair your YouTube channel to OBS, these streams will automatically show up in the feed to choose from when you want to broadcast your stream. I recommend using OBS. It's free and it's very compatible with a lot of uh, different platforms like YouTube, Twitch, Stream Elements. Uh, it just makes streaming pretty easy and uh, straightforward. Uh, Stream Elements is also the other website I recommend you link your YouTube channel to. That way you can get the chat and the alerts. So I'm just going to show you, uh, you know, I have a stream scheduled and this is approximately what the uh, screen will look like. Uh, you'll go through, if it's your first time creating one, just go through, create it, and then uh, once you're inside, it'll look something like this. It'll say the time and date that it's scheduled for. There's your chat to the right and uh, stream key. I would switch uh, to low latency. This just helps the stream run smooth. Uh, you can pop out the chat, which I would recommend, and once the chat is popped out, you can then copy and paste it into OBS so you can read the chat from your second screen. A real big thing for me was having two screens. The top one I used to actually play the game on, and then my second screen I used to uh, manage OBS and my chat. I would recommend a webcam. I'm not actually going to spend money until I'm making money. And then a headset uh, for audio. Uh, I play on a controller. And then the second screen you can manage your OBS from. Let's go ahead and set up OBS for streaming. All the way to the left is the scene menu. Here you'll create different scenes that'll be seen on the stream, such as the intermission screen, a countdown screen, and your video game scene. Let's focus on the game scene, which will be shown 90% of the time. So just to the right is your source menu. So from the source menu, this is where you can choose all the different inputs. Uh, let's add an audio output, an audio input. This is what's gonna catch your voice audio and then the game audio. You can click on the menu and highlight the equipment you're using. I did have to move some cords around in the back of my computer to get the right outputs, but once it's working, you'll see the actual inputs uh, reacting to sound. On my setup, the game overpowered my voice, so I adjusted the uh, audio output down a little bit. Next, I'd grab the display capture. Uh, that's what's going to capture your main screen, which is the video game you are playing, so it'll basically screen mirror that to the uh, OBS software. Uh, you can adjust by clicking and dragging, and then you can size the window uh, to whatever you prefer. Once you get the game seen to the size of your liking, I'd go ahead and do your camera setup next. So you want to click video capture device, and that'll be your webcam. Same as before, choose uh, the webcam from the drop-down menu, and then go ahead and size it to uh, the size that you'd like, and place it anywhere on the display. Alright, the next thing we're going to focus on is the YouTube chat box. Um, you're going to need to highlight the browser. So this is where Stream Elements comes in play is we're going to open up Stream Elements, and then we're going to get the uh, chat box from them, and then have it displayed in the browser setting on OBS. So let's uh, look into that right now. So here we are at Stream Elements. Go ahead and open it up, create an account, and link it to your YouTube channel. And uh, after you've done that, then it'll have access to your chat window, and you can create an overlay that will display the chat box. Click on the left menu, click on streaming tools, and then go to overlays. And then once you're in the overlay screen, you wanna go ahead and go to the right and select a new overlay. You can then choose your resolution. The standard is 1080p, that's what I have on mine. And then you want to add a widget. So click that button, and then all the way at the bottom, it says stream tools. And this is what will allow you to see your YouTube chat. So then you want to drag and drop that chat box anywhere, and then you can go ahead and save it. Um, go ahead and then preview it, and once you preview the chat box, uh, it'll give you a link. I'm not going to show you my link, but uh, it'll show you, show you the link. Then you can copy-paste that into the browser in the OBS. So here we are back on OBS. We're going to go to the game scene, and we're going to choose sources. We're going to go to browser source, 
and then you can paste in that link to give you your uh, YouTube chat box. Go ahead and paste it to the URL. Uh, if you are using uh, anything else that has sound, which the chat box does not, but if it had sound, you'd want to uh, connect this audio via OBS and then hit OK. Okay, we've basically completed a functional stream for the audience to watch. Now let's move the chat box to where you can read it while you're playing the game. Remember, back on our YouTube channel, the three dots, you can pop out your chat. You, once you pop out your chat box, go ahead and copy the link from your YouTube channel and paste it into OBS. Go to the docs at the top of the screen, custom browser docs, and then you can paste that chat box into your OBS. You now have a workable window that you can drag to the left and actually put into your OBS screen. And from here, you can watch chat, interact chat on your secondary screen while you play the game on your main screen. I'm going to add one more thing. Uh, most streamers don't do this. I put it on my channel. But you can add a custom image at the very bottom layer uh, for like a special background. Uh, I used Canva. I just went over to Canva, searched for uh, Twitch overlays. I made a custom overlay and then saved that to my computer and then just brought that in uh, as an image. And then it gives me the background with my name and my socials and stuff. All right, let's go back to OBS, and we're going to go to the settings menu. And from your settings, there's a few things you want to check. Uh, from the stream, you want to make sure that you are connected to YouTube. This is important. It simplifies everything. Next on the stream settings is your output. You want to lower your video bitrate if you're getting laggy. Also, the uh, medium quality is probably best. It really just depends on your internet. A little bit further down the list is the hotkeys. I use this to start and st stop the stream um, front with my keyboard, so I don't have to switch screens. You can also change scenes, like if you have a I'll be right back scene. Okay, so it's time to actually go live and start streaming. So go ahead and you want to manage your broadcast. So from the Manage Broadcast button, if everything's connected, you can just choose Select Existing Broadcast, and if your YouTube account is connected, it'll bring up some of the streams that are scheduled. And then from there, Select Broadcast and Start Streaming. And then you'll have to hit one more button to go live. Check out this other video over here. Um, I've got Amazon links down in the description. Help you save some money on electronics. Uh, you can use those links, no cost to you, and it'll cut, throw a couple of pennies at me. I really appreciate that. Any other questions or comments, put below. Thanks.